I believe that it is the living room, not the kitchen, that is the heart of the home. It's where we gather, where we cuddle, where we celebrate, and where we relax. And in the middle of this all-important room is the coffee table. On this episode of Vintage Style Modern Life, I'm gonna give you the formula of how to mix new and use pieces so that you too can style a coffee table just like the pros. I'm Leah Ashley and I've turned my love of vintage into a lifestyle. Whether it's a flea market, garage sale, or your grandma's closet, I live for a good treasure hunt. I believe that adding antiques and unique vintage finds into your decor brings your space to life and gives your home its soul. And it's my mission to share this passion of how to find the balance between old and new and to show you how to incorporate vintage into your home no matter your design style. This is Vintage Style Modern Life. What I love about home decor is that it is so subjective. So something that I love, you may hate, and vice versa. And that's totally cool. But when it comes to styling a coffee table, there are a few tried and true tricks that I wanted to share with you guys today to have a totally Pinterest-worthy surface. And of course, using a little bit of vintage is a great way to let your personality shine and showcase your unique tastes. But first, we need to start with the coffee table. This coffee table from the Design Network is the perfect balance to our more casual, deep sofas. Its traditional library styling is sophisticated while the antique brass base brings in a touch of glamour. Its oversized design makes this the perfect place to showcase your collections or just rest your feet. When working with a large space like this coffee table, it really helps me to break up the available decorating space into grids. So take that space, break it up however you like, whatever is most appealing to you. I think I'm gonna work in a grid of threes. Now that we have our grid all mapped out, it's time to start decorating. Now I like to start by using the biggest things first. So in this case, it's a tray. Now because my coffee table is rectangular in shape, I'm gonna use this oversized oval tray. Now I like to use mismatched shapes because it just makes things a little bit more interesting. So if you have a round coffee table, use a square tray. If you have a square coffee table, use a round tray. You get it. I found this tray on one of my trips to Martha's Vineyard. It's real silver and it's really heavy. I always envision what kind of fabulous life it had before it found its way to me. If you look really closely on the tray, you can see a little insignia. It looks like a W, but it could be an M. I can't quite make it out, but it's really fabulous. Next up, I'm gonna add some books. Coffee table books are a great way to share what your passions in life are. Decor, nature, art, fashion, what are you into? Grab some books, start a collection, like now. They always make me look and feel way smarter than I am. Based on my collection of coffee table books, I'm clearly into art, design, and fabulous weddings. Now it is time to add a little bit of life to your coffee table. So whether that's fresh flowers, succulents, or some greenery, adding fresh foliage is a great way to perk up your space. The planter that I'm using is actually an old spittoon. It was manufactured by a tobacco company, and you guessed it, they used to spit in it. But I just love the Native American image on it, and the vintage brass patina looks great on top of the silver tray. It really does make a neat looking planter. No one likes clutter, but clutter is a fact of life. So when it comes to corralling things like remote controls, coasters, eyeglasses, matches, do it beautifully and use a bowl or a dish. I found this little woven basket at the thrift store and it's the perfect catch-all. The silver dish ties in with the silver tray and is the perfect place for that pesky remote. Let's talk about height. When everything is at the same eye level on a table, nothing stands out and nothing gets noticed. So it's important to play with levels when you're decorating your coffee table. Now you can do that with different sculptural items or objects. I'm gonna use candlesticks because they stand out and they're all different heights. This set of iron candlesticks not only has varying heights, but they also have a great sculptural shape that makes them interesting. And there are three of them. Which brings me to my next tip, decorate in groups of threes. Three is a magic number. It is a classic principle in design, photography, writing, you name it. It's just one of those like unspoken design rules that is not meant to be broken because it works. Add in a funky little sculptural element like the sea urchin that I found, and you've got a pretty polished and chic coffee table. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Vintage Style Modern Life. I hope that by following these simple tips, you feel more confident to create your own well-curated coffee table. And if you love the coffee table that I use today, you can shop it right here on the Design Network.